the bolt for the brake plate on the swing arm because this brake plate is different than the one that normally goes on the swing arm. And so I drilled a hole and put this bolt through and tightened it down with the nut. And so we welded the nut in place and we did it on the outside here. These are really nice big burly welds um, and they were really hot too so it should really have fused everything together and really made it nice and secure. This weekend I'm going to uh, Richmond, Virginia for the uh, moped rally. The moped gang down there called the Hell of Satans. They have an, a, a moped rally every spring and I went last year and I'm going this year. I'm stopping in Boston and New Haven, Connecticut and picking up some other Moped Army friends. So I'll have some people to travel with me. We rented this 4x8 U-Haul trailer and we're going to put five mopeds in the back of it and drive 12 hours south to Virginia where we'll ride mopeds all weekend. A couple of zip ties to hold the trailer door shut. Give it a shot, man. What the fuck? Look at it bends around. Everything bends around. Says Red Molly to James, that's a fine motorbike. A girl could feel special in any such life. Says James to Red Molly, my hat's off to you. It's a Vincent Black Light in 1952. Are we in Delaware? Yeah. Open our rules. Like back. Black leather, my favorite color scheme. And he pulled her on behind And down to Box Hill They did all right. We're going on one of these mopeding trips. The idea is spend most of the weekend um, grease up to our elbows. Oh, you there. have no rings on your fucking <laughs> no, thing? I, that's why no. you have two new rings at your house. Are you serious? I've never <laughs> opened that thing before. <laughs> I, this is my first fucking moped. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, he has no rings or a base gasket. There you go. That's why the compression is non-existent. Shit. Which side is up on the... The, the hole. The hole's, up, the right? hole's the intake. 
same way, stay on 95 and get off of the belt here. Frames. I bought it. I put it on. Um, it's, it's amazing. Um, it comes with a whole new electrical system, the CDI and everything. Oh wow! And that's all included. Like is it a new fast? like. It's sick. It's completely ridiculously fast. I think so. I need to either get a smaller jet or a different airbox. <laughs> Hey, Moped Larry, what the hell happened to your uh, lens cap? Fucking, I hit a pothole like the size of a crater. And I didn't hit it full, like I saw it the last second and I maneuvered. And I didn't even realize I lost it. But the whole, that back plate that has the two things that stick out broke off. Buy the bird and take it out in the parking lot and shoot it with the VV gun. I was like, I guess, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what you got there, Bainsworth? I got a little bit of beer. Are you going to carry that on your moped? <laughs> yeah. Look, sorry. It's not starting. What? It's not starting. Sorry. Wow. Couldn't hear you over the roar of my new engine. Riding mopeds in the pack is a pretty visceral experience. It's not uncommon to ride with a good handful of people around town. When you go to a moped rally, you could end up riding with anywhere between 50 to 100 people. With that large of a gang, you can really take over the streets. It's a great feeling to be able to ride with that many people, most of whom are your good friends. <laughs> Suspect I probably shouldn't have gone to Virginia. I had a ton of work to get done on this bike and for school. And once I was home, I only had a few weeks to do it. We're here at the uh, Reedy Sign Shop in Exeter, New Hampshire. My friend Khalil, his uh, father is a sign maker, and I, uh, he's got all the proper equipment and so forth. And so I'd ask Khalil if we could paint this bike here. And Khalil is helping me out immensely, putting this paint on. So how long is it taking you to get to this point? Well, it's frickin' midnight it's been on Saturday night. It started at what, like 7.30? 7.30 to 8. We sandblasted and we've been sanding. So it's been like four hours plus. Endless hours I've spent sanding that frame and doing all the fiberglass work. And it's gonna look good and stuff, but there's already like imperfections and little things that like I noticed that like really piss me off, but yeah. you know. It's perfection in craft and it drives me nuts. But 